Hello and welcome back to In The Garage. I'm Stephen Fillers. Today we're going to be installing a Revolver X2 from Back Industries onto a 2014 Chevy Silverado. We've actually brought in Chris Fleeman with Back Industries today. How you doing, Chris? Doing awesome, Stephen. How are you? Awesome. Doing good. Thanks for coming in today. Yeah, absolutely. We're glad to be here at the garage to show how awesome this cover goes on. That sounds great to me. So what can you tell us about what we have here on the table, what comes in the packaging, and that kind of thing? Well, the first thing you'll notice is right here on the box it says hard rolling cover. And this is kind of a new segment in the industry. Uh, you get a lot of the features and the benefits of having a roll cover, and you get the hardness and the security that you've uh, always had with your backflip products. Awesome. Well, let's get it unboxed and see what comes in the packaging. All right, guys, so we have everything unboxed and out on the table, as, as you can see. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we can expect to find in the box? Absolutely. This here is the rails. There will be a unique driver and passenger side rail. We have our clamp kit. Now this, too, this here is something important to look at. This here is a seal. This will go on the front bulkhead of the truck and we'll use a thicker seal if there's a painted front up there or if you have an over the lip bed liner or a bed cap, we'll use a thinner seal. Oh, very cool. That way you get a perfect seal up there. Very good. Uh, the next thing here is we have our bump stops. We have the most important part is the actual cover. And last and not least, we have the instructions. Every guy's best friend. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you're unpackaging everything, make sure that your stuff comes with a red bag, and this is going to include all that uh, installation instructions, installation components. You're going to need to make your install happen. Steven, one real important thing here is you want to make sure you come all the way to the edge of the uh, bed cap. Okay. And then with our cover, you want to go to the inner part of the bulkhead. About so right, right there. there is perfect. Absolutely. Awesome. Now, one thing you're, as you're doing here is when you're removing the tape, make sure you don't take it all off. Just kind of start it here on the corner. And that way you can work it across the truck, making sure it's square and straight and keep it looking good. Steven, one thing I wanted to point out real quick is you'll notice there's two different types of clamps. Okay. Now a six and a half and a five and a half foot will have six standard clamps. An eight foot will have eight clamps, plus your two strap clamps. All right, so Chris, as we're putting on the rails, are there any tricks that we should know uh, about how, how we should adjust this to the, to the bulkhead? Or what kind of tricks should we know before we do this installation? Yeah, again, we were touching earlier on this uh, angle up here. We want to make sure that goes all the way up to the front bulkhead of the truck. Now, with this application, we have the bed rug. With the bed rug, you want to just kind of pull that down and kind of slide it between the spring at right angle here. And we'll go all the way forward. You want to make sure that your seal is underneath that. That way the cover will seal great when we go to put that on there. And Steven, as you're getting these clamps into position, kind of want to show you a couple tips on here. Okay. The first thing you want to do is you want to put a clamp as far forward as you can, about center of the truck, and as far as the rear of the truck as you can get. And Steven, as you notice, as we're securing this cover in, we'll make sure this is down good so that seal goes well right along the edge of this bed okay. cap. That'll help keep your cover watertight. All right. Now that you got it snug, let's go in here and you want to do that half turn of getting it good and tight. So let's go ahead and do that while we got it held into place. All right. And be sure not to over tighten it. You just want to get it good snug and a good tight seal there. And in each position. Now Steven, now that you're already a pro installing the passenger side, it's going to be quick and simple here on the driver's side. You just do the same thing. Yes sir, let's get it done. All right, guys, so we have the rails installed. They fit nice and snug and perfect. Chris, are there any tricks that we need to know before we put the, the cover on? Yeah, Stephen, the first thing you notice is the cover is actually rolled up kind of backwards. This here is actually the tail of the truck, and we do that to make the install easier. So we'll just grab this, and we'll just set it on right here at the, the rear of the truck. You don't have to really worry about positioning it now, but uh, let's slide a little bit further forward, and let's just unroll it. Wow, just like that. We just move this packaging out of the way. Now we'll come back here and we'll roll the cover up, roll it forward like it's supposed to roll. And then we'll come up here to this front area here and we'll notice there's a couple keyways here. Okay. We'll get the uh, bolts and uh, let's get this thing bolted to the rails. Now, Steven, when you're putting these on here, you wanna make sure you use the black rubber washer first. Okay. Then you want to use your flat washer, and then the lock nut will go on the bottom there. Easy enough. Perfect. Now, Steven, now that we've got the cover attached to the rails, let's go ahead and roll this thing out. Let's get it lined up so we can get it secured to the truck. All right. Now make sure you get the cover centered between the tracks, and you just do that by measuring the, both sides of your cover here. Now that we've got the cover lined up and we have the seal fitting up good next to the tailgate, let's roll this up. 
and be careful now because it's not attached that way we don't get it out of alignment then we want to tighten up our four nuts real quick all right chris so we've got the uh, cover installed and the rails are in place i did notice though we have these strap clamps so can you tell us a little bit more about these where they go what they do yeah absolutely this here is the uh, strap clamp as you said it's very simple you want to go right up next to this front clamp here okay and just secure it into place all right, so we have these strap clamps installed now. Now, Chris, can you tell us a little bit about uh, how these work, what they do? Yes, let me show you what those do. This is so you can actually drive down the road with the cover in this position here. You actually just take the strap, you know, it's got an adjustable device here. You actually just clamp this in the front here. It's that simple. Now you're secure and you can drive down the road with your cover open. All right, Chris, so it looks like everything's done. The cover's on, the rails are in place, the straps are locked down. I do notice, though, that we have a few extra things uh, from the kit still not installed. What can you tell us about these? Yeah, Stephen, let me see one of these. I'll actually show you what these do. The cover doesn't actually contact the truck, but just in case while you're opening and close it, we include these. These are just little bump pads here, and we'll actually put these into place right here. Again, you got your 3M tape here. We'll just pull this off, and we'll put them right into place right here. All right, Chris, one of the things that I do notice is it looks like you have a little um, a mechanism, a spring-loaded mechanism in your rail. Can you explain to us what that does, what it helps us do? Yeah, actually, Stephen, this here is our lock rod, and this is what makes this cover the most unique cover in the industry. You know, most of them just kind of lock at the rear, or maybe lock in the front, kind of down the sides, they're not really secure. Well, this here, when you actually close the cover, gotcha. this lock rail goes all the way down the side of your truck. As you notice, these here actually lock into these individual lock blocks. Yep. That's securing the cover all the way down the side of your rail. Now let me show you how simple this cover is actually to close. It's just snap it into place. Now another great thing about this cover, it doesn't matter if your tailgate is open or closed when you actually go to close the cover. All right. Now to open it, it's real simple. You have this pull latch here. Now this is actually on the driver's and the passenger side of the truck. Another great thing about this cover, Stephen, once you have the cover closed, if you have the OE tailgate lock, once you lock that up, your car goes nice, tight, and secure, and dry. Very nice. Now, Steven, let me show you why this is the best cover in the industry. The first thing you'll notice is how flush and flat and smooth it is. And then also, this cover here, it actually lets you use your truck as a truck. Hey, that's the reason us guys buy trucks, right? So this cover here, you can just roll it up easy from one side. We've already showed you the strap. You can just strap it into place. Now you have your truck bed back. Another awesome thing about this, is you notice what? You can actually see the windshield of your truck. So if you got your quad here, or you have your, uh, you know, the honeydew list we have to do, you have that refrigerator in the back of your truck you had to go pick up at Lowe's, you can actually see the cargo in the back of your truck. So that gives you that sense of security when you're hauling a load, you can actually keep an eye on it. All right, guys, so we have the Revolver X2 installed in this Silverado now. As you can see, it looks fantastic. It is super low profile. In fact, it's one of the more low profile covers I've seen in the industry to date. It really does add a positive accent to the Silverado. Couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out. I do want to thank Chris for coming in. Thanks for coming in, Chris. Steven, thanks for having Back Industries in the garage. Hopefully you've seen how easy this cover is to install, how great it looks, and we look forward for you purchasing your own cover. Yes, sir, and I appreciate all the help. You made this a lot easier on us with your experience and your know-how and this cover. So I do appreciate you once again for coming in. Guys at home, if you want more details on this product, check the description below and you can get more information on this product as well as a part number, as well as a dealer locator. So check below in the dealer locator to maybe find this part at a dealer near you. Thanks again guys for tuning in. This has been Performance Corner in the Garage.